Well, hello everybody and welcome to uh, my daily recipe. Now, this recipe today is something I love and it'll last for two or three days in the fridge and if anything, get more delicious. I'm making a tortilla. Now, I'm not making a Mexican style floury tortilla. I'm making a Spanish style tortilla or like a potato and onion thick omelette that's cooked and flipped in the pan. But I'm gonna use some really wild ingredients. So I'm just gonna grab some roughly chopped onions. No big chefy stuff here. Just quite rough. Here we go. And I've got lots of extra virgin olive oil in here. I'm going to add a little bit more. Lovely. And I'm allowing these potatoes, and I've got two types of potato here. I've got sweet potatoes, and I've got some little potatoes I found that were going a little bit wrinkly in my cupboard. So I'm using those. And I'm just giving that a little shimmy, and I'm letting it all soften up. And I'm going to let those soften up now for about five minutes. Meanwhile, let's get the eggs ready to go. So, non-conventional ingredients for this dish today is wild garlic, because I've still got lots of it, and nettles. Now, here are the nettles. So we all know about stinging nettles. These are, ha <laughs> be careful. I picked these with gloves. These are your common hedgerow nettles. They are highly edible, incredibly nutritious, really delicious and, and just good for you. And people throughout the ages have eaten nettles. In wartime, nettles were a big deal. They used to make soup out of them, etc. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to pour some boiling water over them, which I've got here, and I'm going to blanch the nettles. Blanching just means covering them with water like this for, I don't know, a minute. So I'm going to cover them for a minute and I get an immediate smell which is quite irony and really really delicious. I'm just going to push them down with that and while they're blanching I'm going to crack my eggs and I've got a dozen or so eggs from my lovely chickens outside. I'll tell you what the chickens are under siege from the foxes at the moment. This morning I was out in the garden having coffee and I I, um, I heard a horrible cackling and I went outside and there was a, an enormous big red fox literally tearing at the wire of the girls enclosure trying to get in um, and luckily luckily he was still there two minutes later when I uh, when I went up and got my rifle and uh, now that fox is no more that's the second day in a row he come back so at this time of year you've got to really look after your chickens and especially in a crisis like we're going through at the moment eggs are important so chickens lives are super valuable besides which I love my girls go out there and talk to them every day. They give me loads of eggs. You can see the incredible yolks I get out of these chickens. They're absolutely mm, fresh, beautiful. Look at the colour of these yolks. They're absolutely stunning. And uh, I feed them on a, a really lovely corn-based food that my, my uh, egg supplier at the Woodsman uh, gives me. And uh, he produces, I think, the best eggs in the country. So I'm going to give and this is corn based by the way, fully organic, no colorants. So none of those eggs have got any additional color. So I'm gonna give it a real good whisk, like so, multitasking like crazy. Just lean over, give that all a nice stir. Onions are starting to soften, that's what I want. All I want is for them to get like translucent. That'll be lovely. You need a lot of oil. Okay. So, I'm going to just quickly run some cold water over my nettles, just like that. I'm going to chop the wild garlic up a little bit finer. Lovely. Oh, so pungent. I'm going to season the eggs. Now, for the seasoning, I'm going to add oh, a couple of real good pinches because that's going to season the whole omelette and some crushed pepper. There we are. It's great. Okay, so I've blanched my nettles. Now they've had a couple of minutes in the boiling water and then I've run them under cold water and now I can pick them up without them stinging me. And I've just taken the, the toughness out of them. A bit like picking tea leaves, I've only picked the tips out of the nettles. And, uh, and they're the tenderest and the most full of flavour and I suspect probably full of all the good stuff, all the iron and the ultimate green irony vegetable, really. So, parmesan. I've got a big chunk of beautiful aged parmesan. That I'm going to grate straight into my eggs. 
You don't have to do this. The Spanish probably wouldn't do this, but I love it. It gives the omelette a slightly cheesy sort of texture that's just delicious. I'm putting a good old pile of it in here with my microplane. Here we are. Mix it into the, the mix. Oh yeah. Okay. That is excellent. Right, in now with the wild garlic and the nettles into my omelette. So let's go over to the omelette. Gosh, I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be really delicious. Give them a minute to wilt and cook down. See them like spinach, it's wilting almost immediately, which is what we want. So now I'm going to pour in my egg, eggs and parmesan there, like so. And then just literally just make sure that it's evenly mixed throughout. And now the secret of this is just to let it simmer and you just bring it in from the edge. Just give it a little mix every now and then. Now, as you can see, the tortilla has been cooking for a minute or two and it's releasing nicely around the edges. I'm just like to lift it a little, make sure the oil's getting underneath, that it's not sticking to the base of the pan. Oh yeah. That's what we want. You've got to kind of have the courage to let it cook. So I've had the tortilla cooking and I've checked the edges for about 10 minutes. I've got a nice greased baking sheet. I'm going to slide on top like that. And I'm going to get a cloth for my hand because otherwise it's going to be hot as soon as I turn it. So I'm going to put my hand on there and I'm going to flip this over oh, yeah, like that. Let's have a look and I'm going to slide it straight back in in the pan which I'm going to flip. Oh you ripper, look at that, beautiful. Come on over here, quick. <laughs> and now I slide the whole thing back in the pan, tucking in the edges like so. And now it'll immediately puff up as the egg on the bottom does its thing. Got a lovely crust on the top there, it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to cook it for literally now a minute and then she'll be done. Okay, I'm going to put my little tray back on. I'm going to come over back to the board. I'm going to flip it. And then, that's what I wanted. I'm going to slide that baby onto my board. Oh la la. There you have it, a nettle, gosh that looks tasty. I've got a lovely nettle, wild garlic, sweet potato tortilla and I'm just gonna grate some more of this lovely Parmesan all over the top. Ooh. Let's have a cheeky slice. What a thing to have for lunch. Very simple ingredients that you probably have at home. Look at that. Ooh. And it should be quite soft in the center. You don't want it rock hard. Loads of lovely Parmesan. And let's have a taste. Mm. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. And you can really taste the nettle. It's got a sort of ironing spinachy flavour to it, the parmesan, the potatoes, we're going to be eating that for the next two days. It's beautiful, cold with a salad or warm with a glass of wine, made from the hedgerows and a few eggs. Anyone can do it. I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.